right, let's take a look here. So as I said, if you guys want to follow along uh, to see our uh, chatting going on, then uh, I would say click on the video that we're streaming on right now on YouTube and stop it, pause it so it doesn't slow down your internet. And uh, yeah, take a look at the chat there. Okay. Heck. What's the so we're starting now? Yeah, we should be live already. Um, so let's see. There, cool. Yes, Somebody already commented first, so we are. That is me. It's official. Let's start the music here. I've got the obscure song okay, for today. I can't YouTube. If you can't handle it uh, no with the, your technology, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll be looking yeah. at the comments anyway. So. I only have one for obscure fantasy monsters. Oh, let's start with that one then. What's up? What you got? All right, hold okay. on, guys. Hold um, on. Okay. It's still, uh, yeah, it's still in the, uh, like, the pending screen. I just do that to make sure everything, uh, all the lag and stuff gets balanced. But you can chat. Just don't spoil it yet. I don't, um, I think we should wait until, you know, we're all ready. Are you guys ready? We got Hell Drake. We got okay. I'm as ready as I'm gonna get. If I crash, I'll crash. I Big think deal. we're about ready. I'm gonna take this off. I'll do some introductions, then I'll do a little update, particularly with the, what's going on with Monster Tober. So, there we go. Get me on here. There we go. And big moment. Discord. The Monster Ride Elites. All right. Now it's getting exciting. We're starting to get viewers. We got nine people. A lot more than on Twitch. Absolutely. <laughs> Even though it's not that much, considering what YouTube should be directing toward us. Ah, the real monsters out Welcome there. Welcome the nine people. Welcome to nine people. Welcome, welcome. You are the top of the class. They are. Hello. All <laughs> right. Five of those are us. This is the moment. Yep, I think we're good Damn. to go. So, welcome, welcome everybody to the world of monsters. Monster cast voices of the monsterhood number six. This is the sixth official recorded monster cast streamed, but it's the first one that's done being done on YouTube due to it being Monstertober and us celebrating this fabulous, monstrous month. Today in our Discord, let's see here, we got uh, Creative Equinox, our Monster Ride Elites. If you don't know, guys, join our Discord. You can always join these live chats over there in voice or just text or on Twitch as we do these usually. But right now, of course, YouTube. Uh, we got uh, Dande over there. We heard his voice. Uh, it's a rare obscure thing too uh we got dog danzo welcome dog danzo hello gargamel gold's back and chris true is back for he's been here since the first one guys so pleasure to have yeah. him over and we got a new person also we got victor here just joined discord yesterday <laughs> yeah. hello awesome so today's topic is obscure movie monsters so obscure meaning strange or weird and less lesser known if you find something that is pretty well known but it's really weird okay cool we can talk about that um but stuff that is really not that well known and it should be it deserves to be known because it's so cool and unique um now back to a quick update too we uh if you guys don't know we're running our monstrous every year yearly Halloween Monster Art Contest. Monster Art Contest today's to this year's theme is sorry guys, I'm still waking up here. Two is female venom predator. Female venom predator or predator venom. So it's a hybrid of those I saw that. concepts. And uh, it's supposed to be in 2D and we're already getting some stuff flowing in. I think I got six submissions so far. And they're looking nice pretty to awesome. Hear it's like really cool. It. So, and remember that the more people join it, Facebook, the more, but... yeah, right, right. A lot of people uploading there. Join our Facebook group too, to see those ahead of time. 
And uh, the more people join it, the more they can win. So there you have it. So let us begin here. Uh, I'm gonna, there's not gonna be too much organization to this. I mean, it's Obscure Movie Monsters. We have our regular organization, if you guys seen these before, but we're gonna do, separate them into fantasy movies and sci-fi. So we'll cover fantasy movies first, and then we'll jump into sci-fi and go our usual way and such. So welcome YouTube viewers. All right, guys, whatever you've got on mind, Let's hear it. Obscure Let's movie. Let's start monsters. off with the pumpkin head. Everybody knows that. Yeah, Victor brought that one up. Do you want to mention anything around that? Um, as far as I'm aware, the pumpkin head is a demon that was summoned by a witch to avenge a fallen family member in a feud between two families. It every time the pumpkin head demon would kill someone it would take a piece of the summer's soul and once the task is complete the person who summoned the pumpkin head becomes the new pumpkin head mm. but he must also be killed to kill the pumpkin head am i not am i not mistaken i believe you are indeed correct how would you categorize cool. that uh, type of monster? Because it sort of just seems generally demonic, right? I think it would Indeed. fall under supernatural because it is a demon. Yeah, it is. Uh, would be more towards the uh, fantasy side because it doesn't have to obey like the laws of physics. They're not even mm -hmm. meant to be something that we could think could plausibly exist. There is a problem, though, is that some monsters, you know, some sort of fall between fantasy and sci-fi. So, like, it's not 100% sure, you know, which is which. Maybe we should have a third category. Maybe we should have a horror category. Yeah, I was thinking horror, uh, too. Category. Although it can um, yeah. sort of be divided into those uh, two, science fiction and fantasy, maybe. Uh, as you guys did naturally with this pumpkin head. But, uh, yeah. We'll and here. it... On the subject of demonic and other supernatural entities, there is the Bone Eater. Ooh, that sounds good. Tell us more. Please educate us. It basically is a spiritualistic being that when it attacks someone or something, you don't really see any damage, but the victim ends up missing bones. It just consumes the skeleton. I like that. And thus kills the victim. That sounds like something as far it, you'd see in D&D, &D, like a specific creature type. And uh, what movie is this? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it was based off a D&D &D monster, but I'm gotcha. not sure which one. Sure. However, every D and D monster I've seen either saps something from the player or outright causes visual uh, damage to the physicality of the victim. Right. Yeah, be good. And to... I do play D and D. Awesome. Good. I was saying uh, last time that we have a lot of. Warhammer enthusiasts with a lot of knowledge on Warhammer, but I'd like to have someone with a lot of knowledge on D&D &D on our uh, Discord, too. So, cool. Um, looking at our chats here, we got uh, Heldrix first, second Devil Dondes. He's in two places at once. Magical. We got Paladin Demo. Welcome. Good to see you here. Get the Tech Priest. Spoilers, emergency drill procedures. We got Louis Zanadog watching. He's a good friend of the channel. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for participating in the the contest and we got, got drake slayer uh louis said that pumpkin head falls in the demon category so we agree with that uh drake slayer said i think the problem is bigfoot is blurry he's just a large out of focus i love that concept i think that was from the simpsons that it's just a blurry creature that's why nobody's getting good photography of him or footage well it might also be because bigfoot is moving so fast for being so large 
Right. Also, the and distance the could also play a factor in that. Alrighty, so the monster I had on mind, I guess I'll go next so I can clear these uh, things here. Um, okay, so speaking of fantasy, I was thinking the never-ending story. And I think anybody on this channel should have seen the movie The Neverending St Story. It's a classic uh, oh, fantasy yeah. movie. You've got to have seen it. It's got its corny that's parts, a, that's but a lovely movie. yeah, overall, it's it is. A I wouldn't really movie. consider that obscure though, because I think it's, it's pretty great. well known. Right, the movie, but the monster now that I'm going to bring from there is not the luck dragon. It's not the rock biter. It's Biter. these ones that I remember since childhood that are kind of just funny in the whole meeting. And if you're, you're watching, uh, well, you might not be watching the thing if you're uh, on here, but uh, yeah, it's when they had their the congregation or kind of meeting. And you see these kind of stone statue beings moving around, and they're just like big stone heads on like some kind of based, uh, base. And I was always thinking how... How does that creature work? It's it's an awesome creation, and it makes the world more interesting. And there's a lot of weird creatures you see in that little scene, but those stuck out to me. So, like, yeah, statue heads. Um, so I think that's pretty obscure, and it'd be it'd be fun to analyze. I, I do need to do a series analyzing only obscure monsters on this channel, uh, if time only permit. Um, I would like to ask Doc Donzo, what the hell are those things you just shared? I'm not familiar with those. It's Elmer, I think the movie's Brain Eater or something, um, <laughs> or just Brain, but in any, this is, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it's some sort of alien. It consumes brains, and it has a symbiotic, um, relationship with another human in order Ooh, to yes. help it find other people to eat. So basically, it gave him this blue liquid like a hallucinating drug in order to get his assistance in eating brains. Nice. I was wondering if someone's going to see it. Kudos but to you, Doc Gonzo. That's all I know about it, unfortunately. Kudos to you for finding Sorry, but it does look kind of fake. It looks like really poorly done. I'm sorry whoever did that. It's it very old. Yeah, it is poorly done, it's and that's what we're, we should be seeing today with these obscure ones. But I, I like it. Yeah, I it's was, a good find. Um, I, I remember how I said I didn't know many obscure movies, but I just remembered something. And in the process of looking for it, I actually managed to find another one that was very similar. So what uh, the original thing I uh, want to refer to was the movie Slither. Uh, hold on. I'm, uh, ha I don't think we were able to play the trailers. So uh, let me try to get some clips. Slither. Uh or uh, I'm not close, but uh, watch my call it pictures. Yeah, let me see if I can. Where it is, uh, uh, this town gets infested by the this alien plague of these like red mm -hmm. slug things that when they latch onto someone, they turn them into like zombie slash mutated monsters. Interesting. Yeah, I've seen I... images of this uh, zombieish character, transforming character, and I never knew what movie. So good one too. Yeah. And in the process of actually looking for this, I also came across uh, the uh, slugs from 1988 horror movie. Uh, horror movie. This reminds me of our last talk of the snail, the the ever traveling uh, snail to uh, kill yeah, you. Yeah, the movie we're supposed <laughs> to make. So you said slug uh, 19, what date? 1988. 88. All right. Funny thing about Slither and the slugs from there, it's actually shown in the Guardians of the Galaxy when you first meet the Collector. Oh, really? Nice. Oh, really? So yes. little, uh... Among other things, including Howard the Duck. Right. <laughs> oh, I noticed Howard the oh, Duck. Oh, yeah, I saw the duck. No one could miss the duck. Yeah, it's actual. The slugs from Slither are actually, I believe, in the next case over from the girl that is in the glass box. <laughs> slugs are awesome. I have a little animated GIF here. I just posted a trailer to a, another fantasy uh, movie. It's an obscure 
a French cartoon movie called um, Moon Guardians of the uh, Moon. It has a bunch of different um, what we would call monsters on this channel, and so definitely it. Um, um, the uh, um, like for example, there's this one creature called Necros, which is a giant like a lava beast. Mm-hmm. That's it looks like good. Uh, wants to take the sun away. Troll mom. Cool. So it is a troll. It looks better than the trolls of the movie trolls. No, it's not really a troll. It's like mm-hmm. a creature that's made out of like rock. It's kind of to explain. Go to the um go to the Wikipedia page. I linked it to mm-hmm. it in the um main chat area. Okay. And it mentions him and mentions all the different characters. I would like to apologize. The movie's name for that brain thing is Brain Damage. Sorry. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, somebody okay. I think mentioned oh, that. I think that was demo. Um, yeah, just, yeah, that's pretty cool. He reminds me of Rumpelstiltskin. No Sorry. I just thought it would be interesting to have a because it's this is an obscure movie monsters and this this kids movie has a lot of different um, obscure you know nice. creatures that people. Have here probably never heard of because especially since it was originally, you know, like in French and it's English dubbed. It's an interesting fantasy movie. It's very you know good and mythologically, mm-hmm. and stuff. I would like a lot more people to watch it. Cool. It's I'll definitely it. I think Disney quality. Cool. Um, hey, welcome. How many Z? of you have seen the Swan Princess? Swan I have. Princess. Hey, yes. Which one? Never heard the of first. it. First. Are you talking about the animation? Yes. Oh, yeah, I saw it. The Great Someone Beast. Someone put a link to it in the uh, uh, main chat area so I can take a, a look at it. Swan Princess. Okay, so what creature are we talking about from here? So I can... I've, have we covered the science fiction? The Great Animal. Oh, I'm about uh... finishing right now. Uh, oh, I'm I'm too late to involve my obscure monster movie. Oh, go ahead. Um, yes, that please. was uh, anyone seen the upright? What's it called? Deep Rising. It's a movie happening about a sinking cruise ship. Hold on, hold ship, on. Is it science is, fiction more? It kind of is, but it's a giant octopus, okay, giant well, tentacle octopus thing. All right. I well, thought you were talking going. about um, Death of the Sea or something. Uh, let me find the link to it. Yeah. And uh, back to the Swan Princess. Which one? Did you say creator? Or what's the monster in that one we were mentioning? Um, I was Swan talking Princess. about the first uh, animated movie for the Swan Princess and the right. great animal in particular. Great animal. Okay, got it. So I'm Googling that now. Should be up. Got it. So it's like a bat, almost werewolf. It looks, it looks like the werebat yeah, or were-bat. the man bat from Batman. That thing could shapeshift, couldn't it? Into a person, uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. The, the, I haven't seen this movie in a long the time. The main it villain looks pretty scary. From, and that was the entire point. It was supposed to be scary, and I mm-hmm. believe this was the inspiration for the original Batman the Animated Series, Man Bat. Oh, I see. Are you well, sure about now. that? Um, not 100% positive, but it's just okay. a theory. All right. That makes sense. Uh... This movie, actually, it was one of the first animation movies I saw. And it's really that this whole scene of this man bat thing is actually hmm. that really kind of hero says the princess deal. That is literally what it was. Looking at our chat, uh, Ryan Raincrawler, who we've uh, uh, who comments a lot and get participated a lot. He mentioned the Cenobites of Hellraiser, so I'd say certainly certain. Cenobites, like the lesser known ones that maybe don't make a, a big appearance, definitely. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Paladin said brain damage, so he had that info. Uh, Louis, let's see. We are all part of the never ending story. 
How about the nothing? The nothing itself was a kind of monster. It's like a huge depression yeah, going was, through the universe. But you never really saw it. It was more like a cloud. It made the movie really it was amazing. A monster, though. It's it, the movie's like. I also really like the wolf. The wolf from the never. The, was, movie, oh, the yeah, wolf the was cool. Wolf. Yep. The walk, walk. It's an A. Drake's it's an A. Gotta go. Wolf. Take care, guys. Louis said Louis. that he Louis. joined forces with the nothing because. It made it so, because people without dreams were easier to kill and down. Oh, wasn't that a, that's what I thought uh, that Arthur was referring to when he mentioned the never ending story? That was a uh, Garethrond, I think. Garethrond. Um, Arthur, I. Yeah. Sorry, you first? Yeah. What's, what's the silence about? Are we taking a moment of silence for Super OCD? Hey, she's not here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't hear anything. Um, that you guys are back. Um, Arthur, I can't yep. really remember, but I think it's in the third Never Ending Story movie. Those things that could travel in the speed of darkness. Uh, well, that's what I say. I don't know. Can you remember what those things were called? No idea. I don't go into much beyond the first one. They kind of really destroyed them. Sorry. <laughs> but it's certainly I'll obscure, and if you it. can get an image of it... I'll look for it, yeah, I'll look for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the whole nothing, that's what made the movie so... It's a fantastical movie, like, for everybody, but what makes it more for everybody, like adults, is the whole dark aspect that that was the nothing. It kind of it's made the movie dark and just depressing. Really different from a lot of stuff, especially stuff that you see now. Everything's so more clear-cut. That was pretty creative. It was also pretty creepy for a kid's movie. Right, right. It had a lot and of darkness to it. Really much, just hearing about the darkness makes me think of Dark Light and the Demonicus. Dark Light and Demonicus. Where's that from? <clears throat> um, The movie Dark Light. Oh, okay. Dark Light. Demonicus. Let's see what this is. Sounding good, sounding good. Uh, Demonicus. I'm not sure I'm finding... I'm getting Demonicus character. Looks like a Marvel character or something. Alrighty. Heartlight movie. Anybody in the chat, you're more than welcome to bring up oh is she, does she look kind of like a no that's different i'm seeing something look like uh looking like a succubus demonoid um so another one i had uh let me check the chat here real quick uh it's a wyvern said the great animal is a wyvern man bat is a werebat ring caller said the tall man of the phantasm movies let's take a look at that that sounds interesting tall man hey. Uh, have we mentioned the Tremor movie series? I don't think we have. A little prior to uh, streaming. I was uh, I was going to say that uh, the Tremor, if you're seeing these things, um, good old um, special effect monsters from back then, um, mm -hmm. the original movie at least, I think that was made several follow-ups that were different. Enough to say. Tremors is more than more science fiction, though, than fantasy. We're talking about fantasy right now. Mm. Yeah, that's a good point. Two. They are pretty well known, but yeah, shout out to Tremors for sure. Um, as far as the tall man, the only thing I've heard of him is a request to do tall man for my versus video to, to, to do tall man versus slender man. So, speaking of that, I guess Slenderman, not any more so obscure or lesser known, but, you know, along those lines. As well, as well as many SCPs, if you guys know of the SCP community. Pretty much all that's almost obscure. I want to see you do a Venom versus Spawn. Neither of them are obscure Ooh, at this point, but... That's a good one. I think that would be Monster versus... That'd be an excellent one, for sure. Graboids, yeah, Paladin says Graboids were mainstream. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they made many movies on them. They're right on the cover of the movie. Um, Dark Crystal, mentioning by Dande, 
would those creatures from Dark Crystal be considered as monsters? Yes, and don't remember the movie much at all. Yeah, that was Jim Henson. It's been a while since I've seen that movie. I remember the Dark Crystal. I can um. Another kind of dark. I can actually. I can probably find like the trailer for it. Oh, but someone else just posted another trailer. And that was uh, yeah, Jim the Henson's. Or Dark Light. Yep, I got some images here in case Looks you guys. Creepy. Remember. Yeah, it's another dark '80s fantasy. It, it took a dark turn, but it's all like very fantasy um, because it's a Jim Henson creation. So all those Muppets that he creates, he took a turn and he collaborated with another artist. I forgot his name. I was just reading an interview with him. He does a lot of fairy art, 2D art, and he's the one that worked with Jim Henson. And he's really the the one that created the character of this movie. Sure, Jim Henson put his technical kind of knowledge on the puppets and filming but the look of all these okay, creatures and the whole movie crystal. is from that artist sorry we're talking about dog crystal yes mm -hmm. we brought up another movie in between this so i just want to clarify that yeah yeah so i wanted to shout that out because really it's due to that artist if i can just remember his name but i read that pretty recently i'm sorry we're just we're talking about dog crystal right now because that we, someone brought up another movie in between this, and I just want to clarify which movie we're talking about. Yep. Can I push us back a little bit? Yeah. What you got? We got Krampus here. Um, Arthur, if yes, you look sir. at the image under the Krampus, these mm -hmm. crab-like things is what I was talking about. This was in the third movie, and apparently Google agrees with you that the first movie is the only movie that's prevalent. Because... It literally has nothing from the other movies. It's just the wolf and the dragon. That's all I get in Google. Let's see. Which image are you referring to? The third? Uh, the one. It's right under this, like, snake question mark. On the cross. Okay. Got it. Oh, I see. Yeah, and that was from Apparently, one of the... Apparently, these things could travel faster than the speed of oh, light. Oh, really? Because they travel in the speed of darkness. So that Typical reminds me of the... Never story stuff. Nice. So that reminds me of the, the snail in the Never Ending Story, the really fast, speedy snail that the, oh, yeah, the snail. guy was, the elf or something, was uh, riding. Cool. So these are another speedy, slow-looking kind of creature. Nice design on them, actually. They nice followed some detail. sort of queen, if I can't remember right. I don't know. The Never Ending Story didn't really make sense to me as a kid, to be honest. It went right above my head. It was like, <laughs> here's a monster. Yeah. Look at it for a second. It's gone. Goodbye. Just follow the kid for the rest of the story. Welcome, Chilla so, Chilla. Yeah. I was a Chilla Chinchilla, sorry. To our voice chat here. That's the first time I'm seeing that person. We got three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Nice. Chilla Chinchilla just joined the server today. Oh, awesome. Welcome. Welcome aboard. Welcome, Welcome aboard. Let's see. Scare monsters were scary and awesome, Paladin says. Cool, cool. Matter um, fact, he joined just an hour ago. Oh, okay. So maybe even from the, the live stream. Right on. Uh, oh, oops. Okay. Uh, anything else, guys, for kind of fantasy? Um, yeah. Basically not alienish or futuristic I have, nature. Um, I have a fantasy thing, but um, I just remembered him. I have to rename the picture, so I can, and then I'm going to upload it. Um, just give me one moment. Okay. All right, let's take a look at our chat here. Never ending story. Films fastly departed from the book. Interesting, because they were good. So that means the book, probably better. They usually are, but different. So Isaiah says, you guys and gals want to talk about... Lot. I'm going to copy that. And nine. I've read the book way better than the movies. No idea what he's talking about there, so I'm going to Google it right now. Gelatinous Cube. Yep, shout out to that one. It's pretty well known in the D&D &D world. It's a good one, though. And it reminds me of another one. For a drawing I did on it from a Star Trek creature a while back on this channel. They look kind of like a, a blobby things, and they're... Really intelligent. I forgot what they're called, and I'm not gonna look. Okay. Them. Um. Uh, um. Sorry. Go ahead. Okay, guys. I just uploaded. Um. It's the troll 
I just remember this author, you like trolls? This is the troll. Look in the um, main voice chat text handle. This is the troll from Ernest Scared Stupid. Um, it turns kids huh. into wooden statues. It's also really appropriate Ooh. for this time of year because it's nearing <clears throat> Halloween. It was a Halloween mm -hmm. uh, movie. Oh, wow. Comedy, really funny. It's also kind of creepy at the same time. That By the way, it's terrifying. Yikes. It kind of was. It kind of was, even though it was a kid's movie. Christian, nice. does he eat the statues or does he just turn kids into statues and that's it? Probably collect some. He turns the kids into statues so he can use them in his magic spell to resurrect, oh. um, to, um, to not really resurrect, but, to, but so his other troll siblings will be born. And they can go just the image. Nice. Uh, reincarnate. Uh -huh. Don, they watch us every image. year. The image alone. Just looking at it, he looks like he's just about to chomp on it like chocolate, like margin boo. <laughs> right. Um, I, I remember that I can't. I don't know the name. I've only seen clips of this. It's um, a horror movie where in a school or college building, probably a high school, I think, where some janitor guy gets turned into this giant slug tentacle monster where he either eats people or stuff shoves his tentacles down their throats filling them with some kind of mucus that turns them into zombies i i don't remember the movie i've seen it somewhere hmm yeah i can't recall that spider -Wick chronicle goblins were cool spider wick uh, chronicles had a lot yeah. of cool stuff just also i just also um Posted the trailer for Ernest Scared Stupid if anyone wants to see it. Okay. Maybe Pretty I'll funny it. movie. A lot of people don't like Silently. it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. What that sounds fun. That? Um, when you mentioned that, Chris, it also made me think of, again, Howard the Duck, but the monster, the demon in Howard the Duck. Oh, yeah. Got that, it. Oh, that was, I admit, that thing terrified me. It was... I think that was an alien, though. I don't think it was a demon. Also, I think the... Because right. Howard the Duck, it was like an alien that had like somehow um, possessed Travel the, the world. I think it was a demon. Yeah, it did come from, but it came from like another dimension. Mm. So yeah, I guess crisscrossing between them. Um, and that also reminds well, me of the big monster in the the end of the Coneheads movie. <laughs> if you guys remember that, where they have this trial on their planet. Another nice stop motion giant monster. And speaking of different dimensions, there is Pennywise from It. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not just him since he's so well known, but the the worms. Since you guys were talking about the slugs, I was thinking about Dreamcatcher and the the nasty worm that appears in the toilet and stuff. The actual alien. Oh yeah, that's an alien that used the bodies for um, heat or something to chase that or something. Well, there was another alien in that movie. Right, right. The big guy. Kind of a spoiler there. Yep. Yeah. Not really. Well, there's the uh, slug thing that was the main antagonist, but there was also that one kid right. at the very beginning, the one that constantly got picked on. Yep. He was another alien. That's of a right. different species that the slug alien was hunting. Yeah, that was a cool little turn in the movie, for sure. Um, I, I'm not sure. I think this was a bit uh, this that this was uh, popular. Uh, the movie called The Ritual, uh, where the monster mm. from it, the Jotun. Definitely a good one. Kind of God. Also, we can keep in mind that uh, movies that at one time were popular could today be obscure because um, just because it was popular at one time doesn't mean it's still popular or well-known today. Jurassic Park, guys. <laughs> no, Jurassic Park. Uh, they they remade that kind of... No, just Ritual's checking if we have the subculture there. people. <laughs> Sorry. Got all four of the movies. Each I recommend the, the Ritual lost. for anyone out there. It's fairly new and... Uh, now you kind of know what it yeah, is, is but uh, if you don't, it makes it even more interesting. Oh, how? Huh. Interesting. What on earth is that? Maybe. There's also... It, it's like, it Lovecraft, kind of... like Lovecraft, you know, mated with H.R. Geiger <laughs> to 
I don't know. <laughs> Lovecraft that himself. Thing, <laughs> I don't know. That thing looks like the offspring between the Kraken and Hades. It's pretty cool. It reminds me of a certain um, Native American monster that I Wendigo. shall not name. Yes, that one. And it is bad luck to name that creature, according to legend. Oh, Kill a clown from outer space. I remember what seeing that in a movie. Away, I don't know. Uh, I remember well, seeing that. Because Killer Clowns from Space again are aliens. Yeah, and we're still on fantasy. Yeah. Uh, oh, just God. speaking of aliens, who was the person who mentioned um, Pennywise's from the from dimension? That would be me. All right. I think it's an actually an alien. I did research when um, the new movie came out. And well, if you look at the Dark Tower, uh, there are. All of Stephen King's movies are, in fact, connected. Oh, yeah. There's a few right. about that. I don't really know it, but I know it. Killer exactly. Clowns. Good one. Very powerful, except for their nose. And I, I must say that those, <laughs> yeah. the appearance of those guys, to me, are the freakiest clowns of any movie. Just their size I've and got colorophobia. huge heads. So, uh, Can we maybe get into sci-fi now? Since we're sure. oh. was, was that anyway? Yeah, there, more yeah I got fantasy. one more mention. Well, while we're still on the subject of fantasy, uh, there's the rendition of Cerberus from Dante's Inferno. Yeah. And we have uh, from Willow. Yeah. Willow's an awesome fantasy movie. Thank you, Dante. And Dante's Inferno. Not Dante's. Yeah, good one. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not gonna digress too much, but the 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 little uh, the, oh, the little man, the, the dwarf that played, he was a dwarf in it. I'm not trying to be offensive, but the short guy that played in Willow as a dwarf. Um, there's a funny little series that they did with him where he's. Uh, it's kind of like it's directed by the same guy as The Office, I think. And it just shows him in real life still trying to get work as an actor. And he's got the willow in his background to, uh, yeah, boast about. Um, so one more fantasy one I wanted to mention is from Princess Mononoke as far as uh, anime goes. And the Nightwalker, or I think it's called the Nightwalker. Basically the forest spirit yes. is the main one. And it is it turns indeed into the that Nightwalker. Form. Cool. That thing scared me. Shit. That was really cool. I gotta be honest. Yeah, yeah. That was so that yeah. was terrifying. It was for indeed something that's terrifying. Supposed yeah. to, sorry for some for the, something that's supposed to defend the forest. That thing did a lot of damage. Well, yeah. that's because they nature, cut its head off. It, <laughs> that's that's because it's a force of nature. Yeah, it is nature. Yeah, yeah. awesome concepts there, right from its original, full living form to that devastating power. Oh. Very cool. Um, then there's okay, that one fine. movie, oh, I forgot, based on the book where the guy goes to Mars and he has more power on Mars because of gravity and such. Uh, what's that again? Something like Johnson or something. Yeah, John. Uh, no. I remember that, but I do not remember what the name was. Funny we can't recall that. That's the guy's name. Yeah, Carver yeah. Also. John Carver? John Connor, right? Something? No, John Connor of Mars, is that what you're thinking about? <laughs> no, John, John Connor's Carter. from Terminator. <laughs> no, Let me Google but, it. Hold um, uh, I... It's funny because we'll know Harry Potter and even characters from that, but we don't know yeah. this one. And this one had pretty awesome creations and CGI to it. Okay, Dante there, one. I managed, oh, f- no I managed to find that monster that I was referring to. That's like a giant like man. So it's called the. Crowley Monster from Jack Brooks Monster Slayer 2007. Crowley Monster. John Carter. John Carter is the name. Okay, so it's yeah. John Carter. Thank you, Chinchilla Chichachachoa. And also the name of the movie. Yep. Yeah, so John Carter also had a big beast that he fought in the arena. That was pretty cool. Yeah. And the aliens themselves were cool. So now we're bordering on sci fi here, looks like. Um, yeah. And maybe it's all directing the sci-fi uh-huh. now. We seem to want to be talking about that. Yeah, it's time for it. Don, they mentioned some uh, creatures that disguise themselves as humans to live among us and harvest people. Sounds like a lot of stuff out there. It made me think of They Live, which is a great cult movie. They Live. You have to see it. It's become more popular because of 
just mentionings of it. But the aliens that live there that you can only see with certain sunglasses, it's it's a pretty awesome movie by a, a well-known director for doing uh, strange movies like that, as well as Eyes Wide, Wide Shut, kind of conspiracy borderline uh, interesting stuff. So, yeah, they live. Come on, guys. Somebody. I've only seen memes. Um, I've only seen there's... memes. Okay, so you've seen the memes. There right here's are, a picture. Um... Several very good monsters in all the Riddick movies. Mm. Oh, yeah, I was going to bring up the bio um, raptors. I was going to bring up the bio yeah, the, raptors. The bio raptors, the mud demons, the um, aliens okay, in okay. Dark Fury. About them in the uh, main voice chat center. Someone's eating again. Mm, some ASMR. Mm. We bring a lot in this stream. Uh, this creature from Deadly Swarm. That looks fun. Uh, let's see. Bioraptors. Okay. So from Pitch Black or Riddick. Yeah. Chronicles of Riddick yeah, Pitch yeah. Black is the first Chronicles of Riddick film. And it's actually, they're pretty cool. They're, they mm -hmm. have, they're um, pretty scary too. Gargamel, it might even be you. Nocturnal eat any living thing in sight. Mm -hmm. um, high sunlight sensitivity, blind, use echolocation, can fly, and pack hunters. I think it might have been Gargamel back in the day when I made my first All About Xenomorph video. And I think it might have been you, Gargamel, that mentioned these to me, saying that they're kind of similar to Xenomorphs or something that would be interesting to do a video on. They cannibalize their own kind, don't they? They do the, whenever uh, there is very little well good one. Too. I need to see where this movie is from. Uh, what is this, Chris True? Uh, this is the Crowley monster from the Jack uh, Brooks Monster Slayer uh, 2007. I'm not sure if you guys. Okay, I to have to see like, this. I have to. This, to... yeah. I've seen this one all over the pl place when I image search. Yeah, love it. Um, can you t tell me the title again? Uh, Jack Brooks, uh, colon, Monster Slayer, 2007. The aliens from Skyline were pretty awesome. Jack Brooks. Damn, the car yeah, looks so lame. Too. I'm also going to post the link Monster's to the awesome. sequel to that movie, which... There, there's a sequel? Yes, there is. Beyond Skyline. It's the oh. actual, it's the sequel. And it, well, um, it's not a movie, it's a series, I believe. Uh, I actually have it on Netflix. No, mm. there's only two of them as far as I know, and the Beyond Skyline is the uh, sequel. Hmm. Those creatures are pretty interesting because they, they do, it's one, aliens that, you know, harvest um, human yeah. beings. They're definitely one of them. They... They harvest you. They they want your brain so they can power their bodies, and they zombify uh, your brain to control you. It's kind of hard to explain, but they're really interesting. Yeah, I yeah. wish I know what knew what they were called. They, they never give them a name in the you know the movie. I am playing the, the two movies. trailer. It does look cool. I like how it starts with the usual abduction kind of looking thing, but it goes epic. Looks and like the trailer's while we're on that way subject, too much weight. Um, nice. there's War of the Worlds tripods. Yes, that's one of mine that and I have mentioned. The creatures oh, no. that pilot those. Yeah, so um, the... Are we, are we mentioned the Gravelhood soon? Yes, yeah, uh, we... I believe the conversation was going to turn to the Graboids and their entire um, evolutionary system and mm -hmm. life cycle. So with the War From of the Worlds, the, um, I think that's a good I one you mentioned the there. I wonder. Um, because I was uh, looking the mud demons. Sorry, I was From thinking of the, the latest movie Riddick. Yeah, they were my favorite. Venomous bite that paralyzes, and they can only move around whenever the ground is wet. Nice. Ambush they predators. That's it. They also have uh, the to distract their prey. Exactly. They're ambush predators. And they use the tail as a lure. Just like an anglerfish. Nice paladin. They live with Let's John be Carpenter. Honest, if I saw if I, I didn't see anything beyond the first two oh. movies. 
Um, the, the third Riddick movie, I never got him on the scene. There are four. Slither got mentioned. Oh, oh, yes, Pitch Black, Dark Fury, Chronicles of Riddick, Riddick. And there's a fifth one coming out this upcoming year. I've only seen Riddick. And, uh, I've only seen Riddick. I've you only are seen missing Riddick. out. I've only seen yep. Pitch Black and the Chronicles of Riddick. What are, which one are these monsters from? Because they don't look like the ones. This is Riddick. from Riddick. Just Riddick, number four. Yep, number he, four. He gets, and... he gets stranded. Hmm. Yeah, I yeah. Need to catch up he too. get well. He gets um. Uh, what's what's the term? Uh, crap. Let's let's see. Like marooned. Where... He gets marooned on a alien planet that he was led to believe was his homeworld of Furia, but it's not Furia. I like the part where they basically he's he's got the guys who came for his head. And he's like, you're going to have to put my head in a box. I saw a box, and then the guy's like, everybody's got a box. That was funny to me. And then he puts the guy who threatens him in the box. Yeah, he basically just chops off his head. With his head. foot. Yeah. Joshua in the, the chat, nice. which was pretty damn awesome. Slither, I believe, got mentioned already. Mm. So, um, Dark Fury is a 30-minute animated Riddick movie that spans the time between the Chronicles of Riddick mm -hmm. and Dark and Pitch Black. Okay. Has a couple that. interesting creatures in it, one of which is this uh, tentacle-like thing that injects a specialized venom that melts its victim so it can slurp it up like a insect or a spider. And then this other one that is a bipedal, uh, cybernetic-looking thing that's a highly uh, specialized tracker. Hunter and Killer. Okay. Cool. So there's more to that universe than I thought, actually. Let's see the chat here. Um, Rawhead Rex, Rex, Creatures of the Movie Society, Ryan mentions. The Mannequins from Tourist Trap. Mm. Um, and uh, like I was saying before, guys, uh, one of the ones I wanted to mention, since you mentioned War of the Worlds, I wanted to mention the older movie, not the new one with uh, Tom Cruise, but how the aliens looked uh, in that old one. And I have them up here in the the thing, uh, the Google machine. But they were pretty weird looking for the time, especially. Um, and kind of, yeah, it was uh, a bit creepy there. So... Let me put the image into the, the Discord for everybody. If I can. You are talking about the aliens that died of um, Earth's bacteria, right? They used Correct. blood as a fertilizer to turn Earth into the new red planet. Yeah, right. Saying. Right, they're the same. They just yeah, changed that. their... Oh, boy. Uh, their look much in the new ones, but in the old ones, it was like a, kind of a silly look. But it was, it was uh, almost like an alien creepy. gray. Okay, let me copy it over here. There we Th go. That movie scared me so much as a kid. That looks freaky as hell. It is freaky, right? And oh, and it looks so way. like fake, but fake in a really creepy way too. Because the way they moved and everything for that time, it was really weird. I wish they would have gone more Hold with on, these. Hold on, is this the old version? Yeah, is that's this the old version. Mm -hmm. It is. I didn't even know about this. I know the yeah, new version. Yeah, you got to check it out. They I only showed them old. a little bit too. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty creepy seeing that behind your window, like walking around in some weird oh, hell way. No. Yeah, they were pretty creepy. It's so it's alien. Also, really unusual design even for now because most right. aliens they do today they tend to make them humanoid. Mm -hmm. And that's definitely not humanoid at all. Exactly. It's, it's also so unusual that have different color eyes. Yeah, it's so unpredictable and hard to understand. And I like how they used RGB for the eyes. Uh, makes sense too. I, I wish Hollywood would have would have developed the new ones because the new ones were cool, but they weren't that like unique. 
compared to what else we have in Hollywood. If they went with this, but like took it to another level, it would have been really cool. I just recalled another rather obscure movie that I I haven't seen many people talk about. Uh, Evolution from two thousand one. Yeah, that's a fun one. Well, again, it's oh, yeah. uh, aliens where mm-hmm. a meteorite car. Here's the trailer for it. Where basically. A uh, meteorite carrying some alien DNA crashes on Earth, and it rapidly evolves into a very wide range of monsters, yep. all of which look pretty weird and terrifying. Yep. Yeah. Really fun all the concept. Evolution, all the evolution on Earth basically in like two months' time, and just a little bit weirder. The apes are terrifying. Evolve really. Yeah, it is. And it is. There's really, also the... it's, also, it's silly because it's meant to be a comedy, so a lot of it's just completely silly, of course. So. Kind of like Mars Attacks. There's also that fat one that looks like Jabba with the weird tongue. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's some pretty f- cool creations there. Yep. I love yeah. the tree. The tree was awesome. The f- it was just like watching this thing of the two heads moving. Oh, wait, wasn't suddenly... that one that was... Uh, wasn't that one where the main monster was defeated by uh, Shampoo? Shampoo. Shampoo. Yeah, yes. yes, they shot truckloads of shampoo into the <laughs> anus Sorry. of a tree made out of flesh. Right here is the cute little one. I, I cannot help but I'll find that, that to be the most amazing thing ever. Maybe not the most amazing thing, <laughs> but definitely. It's a puppy dog. Talk about going for a checkup. <laughs> That's a fun one. Yeah, movies like that are fun. It, it's with the, I, along I, the lines yeah, of Mars Attacks. The really weird one. A lot of that, uh, is the, practical. that is exactly one that Ooh, giant Ooh, ants, yeah, yep. That, that thing is... Oh boy. What on earth? Creative, giant what ant. did you just post? Giant ants. Um, that is, that is a giant a scary concept in itself. Believe... Let's see what else we got here. Um... The biological angle is in every War of the Worlds film. The creature from Relic. Relic, relic. Let me let me Google that one real quick. Thanks, Paladin, for being involved. Relic, the movie. Relic, yeah, monster. Which one is it? I can't recall right now. Let's see. Relic. Ah, yes, the yes. The monster from Relic was. It's awesome, yeah. The monster from Relic was this um, human that mutated because of the fungus that was given to him by a tribe, and because of this fungus, he turned into this like mm-hmm. the wolf kind of thing, like a kind of tiger thing with mandible. Yeah, it's like a centipede, reptilian, uh, dinosaur thing. It's pretty cool. Um, a lot of people could... requested this one for me to go in depth on. That sounds like an interesting one. I'll yeah, see if I can go um, get an image. Hold on. I've got it up now, but uh, I know you guys are probably not on there. Let me get this image up. Uh, let me. There we go. I need to get quicker at these transitions here. Here you Would go. you consider Swamp Thing awesome. a obscure monster? Um, I, I swear I've this seen point, this yeah. thing Arthur posted before. I don't can't remember when though. Yeah. I remember there was this monster, not really a monster, but a really classical monster. I don't know, the creature from the blue lagoon? What's that? Black lagoon. <laughs> oh yeah. He got the Black color lagoon. wrong. <laughs> Listen, I'm not racist, so that probably... <laughs> Creature of the Black Lagoon. Yeah, but that's... It's pretty... Well, it's among the classics, so... Um, Swamp Thing Just yeah, became to... kind of a cult, almost monster movie, kind of separate there. Same with the, the other one, kind of like Swamp Thing, that like mutated hero guy. Apparently it's an anime, too. Yeah. Either that or I sp- spelled it wrong. Um, Black Lagoon is indeed an anime, but it is not monstrous in any way. Black Lagoon's just gangsters. It's just yeah. a lot of people shooting at one another. And it is extremely well done, in my opinion. It is. The Russian woman is terrifying. And she, she has that face that says, do not screw up. Plain simple. And Blue Lagoon so doesn't have Raven. any monsters. In but we are off topic. It's a good movie, though. Okay, the monster of the Korean movie, The Host. Yep, some people consider okay, so that a kaiju. Is more fantasy, and something um, is mainstream. What, uh, yeah. This thing that you shared, Arthur, this monster reminds mm-hmm. me a lot of the um, 
of the demon Samael from the Hellboy movie. Mm, yes. Samael Jackson? Oh, yes. Samael the desolate one, the hellhound of regeneration. Yep. These yeah. things could duplicate, right? Every time you kill yes, one, well, they just so that multiply. that was due to um, Rasputin's uh, little spell to resurrect oh, okay. Samael the desolate one. Whenever he was killed, two more would rise until all of oh, them cool. were destroyed together with the eggs. Now, yeah. okay, and short the answer, eggs guys. Would develop rapidly whenever there was a source of heat. Near it, just right, like right. how the uh, face hugger eggs would hatch whenever there was a heat source near it. Uh, quick uh, answers. Uh, heat source, well, life form near it. Movement. Movement. Movement, yes. I have a question for you guys. Quick answers, though, because I don't want to uh, dissuade from our conversation here. Do you feel that Hellboy does need a reboot? Honestly? Uh, well, Hellboy. Quick answers. I think that Ron uh, uh, Ron Perlman was, was absolutely fantastic, and and that he should actually get back into it. Um, it. The it would be it's interesting how they're recasting Hellboy, and I would like to see where it goes. Sure, but Ron Perlman killed it he brought yeah. hellboy to life agreed yeah I, I honestly wanted to see a hellboy 3 rather than a reboot there's the host creature from the korean film dead snow is pretty fun they do some things with zombies you haven't seen yet like pulling the intestines out using it to fuel a car pretty funny and fun the brain from the brain yeah i've seen this image before thanks donde definitely obscure Oh, something I want to mention now, too, as my final one, uh, a movie I saw pretty recently. It's called Invaders from Mars. It's a 1986 version. I believe there's a black and white version, but they did a, they redid it, 1986. The, and there's some cool... Those are the monsters that are weak to sound, right? They are what? Um, Just like the monsters the... from A Quiet Place, but, um, you know, that's popular and all. Well, sure. the monster, I have not completely seen the uh, quiet place but i am familiar with the creatures you speak of somewhat mm. i've seen a brief flash of them so how to the monsters, them. these invaders the from mars in a quiet place oh, sorry go ahead gentlemen. uh i guess i got these Anyway, I must bid you farewell for now. Uh, 20 minutes till my movie. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Well, enjoy it. I'll be watching it in a few hours as well. So, mind linking with you. Enjoy it. And thanks for joining in for your first time. And hopefully, we'll uh, see you next week. Nice to have you around, man. Thanks, Victor. I'm looking forward to next week and talking with y'all again. It, Sweet. This has been a very, very enlightening. Awesome uh, a conversation uh, on uh, monsters. Before you head off, I would just like to share. I just found a picture of a very horrible, awful, and grotesque, most possibly the most vile-looking thing that has ever been put to cinema. And there is also what a brain in the background. Oh, the brain bug! The brain bug! <laughs> oh there's yeah! Also a brain in the background. Oh, he reminds me of many memories. I, no, I st <laughs> there's also a brain bug in the background. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no offense to the actor. I he love was... the guy. Yeah. <laughs> Just try to make a joke. So farewell, Victor. That was a good joke. Our latest <laughs> voice of the monsterhood. I was going to ask you if you had suddenly gotten a picture of my mother, but um, I didn't realize she never <laughs> had been in the movie. <laughs> oh, hey, nice. your she's mom watching. Might be listening, you do realize that she... <laughs> yep. she's she she she's as capable with a computer as I am. With she's been with the channel since the beginning. <laughs> so. And I'm not very able. All I know is to stay away from it. Anyway, I shall talk to you, all of you later, and Arthur. Uh, maybe after you see Venom, we can talk a little bit about it. Yeah. Yeah, let's Cheers, see. Victor. Cheers. Let's see what we think. Cheers. We're going to do real life um, like analogies for this like we do with animals. 
I'm not sure it's going to fit this time around, though, because it's this is an odd topic that doesn't really like fit any, you know, giant dialogue. octopus, giant mutations in real life. I would say we have enough of monstrous things. Uh, well, I mean, it's not. So let me finish the movie I was mentioning. Well, then, I've got a good thing. Because there's I've a couple a monsters here. from here. The invaders from Mars. So. Uh, so there's a couple ones that's basically a UFO that lands on Earth and it's uh, the skies. But there's these creatures in there that have two legs that walk around. Let me link this to you guys so you can see what I'm talking about in Discord. Um, so that's one of them. They're pretty unique. They're kind of goofy and silly looking because they just have two legs and a huge mouth or three legs. And I saw Stan Winston creating these guys. But then they created a really cool master uh, alien there, which is... You know, a brain, kind of like Krag and Ninja Turtles, or uh, or in um, certain I'm games. I'm happy to see that the creators of the movie made sure those creatures had uh, a very prominent rear end. I just saw that mouth. That thing <laughs> could eat you easily. I love the design of that brain uh, leader. Krag. He, he looks awesome. He's not though. Yeah. He he looks like. Something you'd see in a lot of places, but they did an awesome job. And his eyes, his pupils, he has double pupils in his eyeballs. Uh, pretty rare thing to see. Giant Claw. Right, Giant Claw I mentioned in the our Kaiju video, Dog Donzo. So that's one of the silly monsters that people always bring up because it's a big, just silly, goofy-looking Kaiju giant monster. Ooh. Okay. What's this Give from? Give it to your on the topic of uh, what's this from Z? Monsters, yeah, dog. Uh, normally that would be impressive, but once you've seen squigs, stuff like that doesn't really mm. surprise you that much. Right. I haven't seen it, so I guess you're uh, right. It's a, it is a. Uh, it's from Warhammer. It's a Warhammer monster, basically. Yep. It's a walking mouth with jaws strong enough to sh to crush through mithril armor. <laughs> mithril. Ouch. That just makes them more interesting. Let's look at our no, chat here. Words, that's fucking dangerous. Stay away from it if you can. Amen. Capral Zul asked the question in our chat, would the infection and splinter count? Yes, uh, Capral. We actually mentioned splinter in our... Uh, uh, what's the word? Um, assimilation monster cast. So I did men mention splinter there. And it's also... Splinter is kind of a obscure monster here because not a lot of people know that movie compared to say the thing uh killer shrews <laughs> sounds one of those um, killer tomatoes sorry, once again i'm not sure if we're talking about the same thing splinter is that thing where um it basically takes over dead bodies right oh no it's another necromorph video coming up right <laughs> hocus pocus is bringing up some uh real life political stuff Violante. Hate speech, blah, 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 okay. Chat's getting interesting and heated. All right, good, good. All right, Biolante, ooh, yeah. Powerful. Eats Godzilla. That is a creepy looking thing. That's from Godzilla, right? One of the Japanese versions. Yep. It's one of the deadliest ones, too. Good one. Uh, just for the, I'm kind of going to break the move position in Dipity. Just for the sake of consistency, I feel obliged to share an image of a squig. Purely yes. for consistency's sake. So There we go. There's a, a squig, ladies and gentlemen. That's the thing they can buy through Metro, right? Yes. If anybody's ever That's played the movie The Horde. Jaws on feet. The game The Horde back oh, in the day. That's what these if were. If you hit guys. it over the head, and if you hit it over the head, it grows bigger. Love it. Okay, so basically stab it in the butt and kill it. I want will that one. work? Yeah. Unless you instantly kill it and it somehow survives, it will continue to grow bigger. Well, that's Let's stupid. See. What about that's Lovecraft impossible to kill, creatures? Lovecraft is mainstream. Um, Cthulhu is yeah, more mainstream, um, but there's really a lot of Lovecraft. Have any movies, to be honest. There's a lot I mean, of Lovecraft yeah. creatures that there are. are well, there are a few so mainstream. Um, movies based on the Cthulhu mythos. Not too many of them there. Most of them are obscure, but the monsters yep. them are not necessarily obscure because sure. most of his monsters are kind of well known. So, 
Lovecraft. That's right. The Cthulhu myth is unusual because it's well known, but there aren't that many movies or TV shows based on it. Just it's influenced a lot of other things. If you guys want a Lovecraftian movie, one of my favorites is called Dagon. It's it's a pretty good little horror movie, um, Dagon. So, hmm. do I uh, have that a go? Speaking of the pinkies from Doom, uh, Creative Equinox, uh, the Doom movie, and where it uh, mm. redesigned those in a rather intriguing way. Or was it that was actually they're, they're, they're based on I the way this movie. The Doom Three movie, the pinkies in the Doom Three movie were based on the uh, the pinkies in the Doom Three video game. That's why they were different because they redesigned mm. the pinkies for Doom Three. They redesigned a lot of the monsters for Doom Three. Mm. Doom yeah, 3, they made them look a lot more like aliens and like demons. Yeah, I of cannot remember. So in uh, the Doom movie, uh, the, the there's normally in Doom, there's this uh, type of charging demon that looks like, a bit like a pig of a sorts. So in the movie, there was this guy on a wheelchair that got infected by a disease thing that they were working on, and he turned into this. Oh, yeah, I remember. It, that's the only guy that looked like that. He's, um, he was teleported. His bottom half went to a different galaxy, and his top half was the only part that made it to where he was actually supposed to go, right? Oh, okay. Yep. Interesting. Okay. I'm wrong. You know, the hat Gabe Newell would see that all hats are traveling safely through the materium. I've got my eye on you, Creative Equinox. I mean... Got my eye on you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so somebody I mentioned in the comments, uh, Critters has, love Critters trilogy, Jeremy Smith said. I totally agree. I love, they're not so obscure anymore, but I love the creatures. I think I've said that many times. I love the Critters of the Critters movie. They're just little pains in the butt. Critters has four movies. There's a fifth Critter movie. Okay. Sure. <laughs> So we're an hour in, guys. I'd like to take the moment to uh, discuss our next monster cast, if if we will. Okay, that'd be fine. Yes, please. Okay, so Need this to be time, able to research. last one was monsters that use specialized or unique tools, accessories. Today's was oh, obscure one. movie monsters. That's the one before the last one. Yeah, that one before the last one. Oh, sorry. One. What was the last That's one? That's the first one I was with. Last one was um, Monsters with Rules. Like vampires, they can't go into Ah, oh, yes, yes. Monsters with game. Rules that follow a particular... They honor a particular rule. Okay, so my suggestion for the next one... I don't have a clear-cut one, but a theme. Uh, something Halloween-ish. Hmm. How about... Um... How about um, boys and monsters. girls of every age? Would you no. like to see something? Stop! Oh, You'll get no, the stream copyrighted. <laughs> if if only he were that good. How about we do um, uh, your favorite um Halloween monster? Like, what's your favorite monster that you associate with Halloween? Is generally mm. associated with Halloween, like vampires, yeah. ghouls, ghosts, werewolves. Yeah, oh, well, that sounds cool. Like, what well, did you dress up as though. the most, too? Like Robot skeletons, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Here we no, go. Really, um, I would, can I suggest that we stay away from the outer world stuff? Because if you, if you really think about it, aliens aren't really monsters, to be honest. Well, monsters whatever are things you find on Earth that are not the same as what they Whatever you associate with. Aliens are just space creatures. And we so want to hear. Are saying that the alien from? Are you saying that the alien from Alien is a nice creature that you want to pet and love and give you affection? I never said that. It, I said it's from outer space. It I never said it's friendly or it's hateful. Just so, it's from outer space. So well, monsters. If I could get an alien xenomorph as a pet, I would. Hold on, hold on. We have friendly monsters, so we can't say that just because something is, you know, either benign or you know, malevolent, that it's um, a monster or not a monster based on right. the definition we have for this channel. Yep. And we also, we do include aliens as monsters. Yeah. So it's just anything that's like, you well, know, out of the ordinary for us. It's anything that speaks to all you. Right, all right, yeah. So it's anything that's... You got a point, you got a point. It's anything that speaks to you the most about Halloween. 
So even as a kid, we can hear your stories as a kid, what you dressed up the most as, things like that. So what do you most, which monster do you most associate with Halloween? That's it. So it can be anything that's, in our monster term. I'm going ghost. to associate ghost for Halloween. But we're not talking about that yet, so we probably should. Um... Yeah, yeah. That's So that's yeah, for I'm next time, guys. Next time. That's I'm official. I'm going to get my trumpet for next week. So how should we how should we title this uh, monster cast? We should title it uh, Halloween monsters, maybe. Your favorite Halloween monsters? Halloween monsters. We'll call it Halloween oh, monsters, week. but once we start that chat, I'll make it clear that it's the ones that we specifically associate, and we'll also do that mo- uh, monster cast live on uh, YouTube. So be ready, guys. We'll do that one. We'll do all of them live on YouTube for this month. Uh, next month, we'll go back to just doing them uh, live on uh, Twitch. See you later, guys. Actually, Halloween, you could say, you could call it. Mm. See you later, guys. Oh, you're leaving? I'm about, like, real world, like, monsters or something now. <laughs> All right, Gargamel. Yeah, I forgot to ask. So, uh, another uh, section we'd go into is uh, real life monsters link into this obscure, but that'd be obscure animals, which we anyway cover. So, that's not too relevant. We can skip that for this monster cast. Let's skip, that. Let's skip this one because they're really. Yeah. Obscure animals is like, there are just too many of yeah, them. Yeah, exactly. There's way too many. So, we mention them anyway with our other monsters. Um, but we can talk about creations or, or what you would like to see more of in movies, by the way. Uh, which is kind of we talk about too, but if you got shout outs. I know this is going to sound, sound ludicrous, and I know it's going to sound bad, but and this, this is not even obscure, but I really, really want to see more Godzilla in general. Good oh, good kaiju movies, actually. Mm. Good large. The, the last? Yeah. There was not actually enough. someone, sorry to cut you off. No, but there was actually someone that um, they counted how long the. Godzilla in the new newest movie was on the screen. Sorry, I'm stuttering a little bit, but okay. it was like less than five minutes. You don't we want know. that from a Godzilla movie. It sucks. It's stupid. Yeah, yeah. yeah well. but still, no. But like he said, I agree. I mean, they should make more just kaiju movies, just those silly, fun kaiju movies that they do in Japan. Yeah, like Pacific Rim, but um, not mm. like Uprising. Yeah, there we go. Less like Uprising and more like uh, the original. There's a lot the they can do, but... I haven't even seen the sequel. Truth-wise, um, the reason I why... I will not say that there's any reason to hasten your yeah. viewing of that movie. I'm but... not going to watch it. I'm not going to watch it at all because for me, the movie ended when they closed the gate. The gate is closed. In the movie, it was a fine movie. Now you bring it. Oh no, gates open yeah. again. It oh, was a good. F- it was a cool movie, the first one. But that's also why they don't do these much because they're so high budget. Unless you're gonna do it uh, Japanese kind of corny style. If Hollywood does any of these, they're gonna be really all. Maybe they could do so a comedy budget. that's a kaiju movie. Yeah. Then they could get away with making it like really corny style because it wouldn't need to be like scary or action packed. It'd just be funny like it'd be making fun of those uh, kaiju movies mm-hmm. so basically trust... power rangers all over I would, again i would not no, trust no, them no power rangers sorry power rangers is not entirely a joke but i think it's just something to be like a kaiju <laughs> movie but it'd be like a complete parody like the kaiju would be stepping on people but they would survive so, and like some guys would be complaining and stuff or they could like have like they could have like blood in it but it'd be like a complete joke like the entire point is that people have to laugh if they want to make people laugh at it like it'd be a kaiju movie but it'd be a comedy like, that's you actually know, a very good example. idea only make a kaiju movie like that yeah we need i wish like they that. made a series about skull island like the king kong skull island but just take away king kong or just make a series out of the actual island and yeah. the creatures that inhabit it that yeah i agree with that and scary series can uh, you can you imagine like Seeing in three episodes that um, Mother Longlegs from the uh, Skull, newest Skull Island. That yeah. would be awesome to see more of them. I agree with you. Definitely. Exploring a cool island like that. And there doesn't have to be one particular antagonist like or protagonist type monster character. I feel, I feel, I feel, like, this is, I feel like this is the situation we're sitting in right now. <laughs> 
Um, Jeremy Smith uh, asked if uh, you guys saw the new Tremors movie. He really liked it. Have you guys seen the new Tremors movie? I haven't. I actually no. have not. I'm holding a marathon tonight while having them up while I'm drawing. Oh yeah, I what kind of marathon? What kind of marathon? What are you watching? Z. You guys are silent for me again. Can you I'm hear sorry, me? I just had to watch it again. Austin Powers had some great moments. Okay, well, um, I'm just gonna moving on. Sorry, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, Doc. All right, l last time I'm gonna mention this. Um, in the newest Skull Island movie, they mentioned ants, giant ants that sound like birds. I would really like to have seen that ant. They yeah. just say it sounds like a bird, but it's an ant, and you never get to see it. I was like, oh, oh ant, come on, that's weak. Yeah. That's not cool when they mention something I mean, interesting and you never that, see it. I mean, Skull Island had one thing Godzilla had not, and that was a lot of monsters, and I'm going to take that. Me too. It only had five monsters, where they could have had seven. And yeah. um, um, the, um, I think it was Tree Mantis or something. It's supposed to be a carnivore. However, the guy just sat on it, and then the skull crawler arrived. So we didn't really see it. We just saw it uh -huh. pop out and get shot. And then we had the true really monster not. of all no, monsters on that island. We had fucking Samuel Jackson on that island. All monsters yeah, should beware. Mm. Well, okay, we also true. Back to real life so, monsters. Sorry guys, I, I kept interrupting you. I'm, I have a problem with that because I, I have trouble necessarily telling when no one's, you know, for saying. But I was just saying that probably part of the reason why there weren't as many monsters in King Kong Skull Island was probably because... Um, Lack of time. They they probably had to cut some of them out because they had the you know a movie. It's yeah, yeah. they only had so much time. But that's why I would like to see a series where they actually okay, you're stuck on an island, survive. Okay, there's multiple creatures. You got the, the, I would actually what was like the T Rex. What was the T Rex called? Sorry, um, X Rex. X Rex. Yeah. That thing. That that would have been awesome to see. Like oh, take on oh. a skull crawler. X -Rex. Oh yeah. Hmm. Here's the thing. And one of those uh, some worm things that were very similar to that. Uh, in the, that, yeah, the things he the leeches. Was, uh, yeah. yeah, those things were fucking. Those, those things were things that gave me original nightmares, and probably got I'm... me into tentacles too. So I wouldn't say it's an entire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember it, but in that same skull island, in the same scene, not only were there some um, spiders with claws. Like six legged, legged spiders with claws. But there, there was also a scene where someone was climbing a wall and this giant arm claw thing just grabbed them and pulled them in, practically breaking his spine. I would really like to see what was on the end of that arm. Hmm. Um, in all honesty, I wouldn't see that up close in real life, but as a, as a studying thing, yes, I would love to see what that was. Yes. Alrighty, guys. Note, I would just like to respond to something that um, Equinox posted, the Megas XLR series. I would oh. just like to say that's a brilliant cartoon. And I would like to pitch to you all, and people in chat and in the comments, to do, do mention if you would agree, a crossover series between Megas XLR and Attack on Titan. Uh, oh, I can't hell no. I haven't, I haven't seen really either of those. I've seen mm. advertisements for Attack on Titan. I haven't even seen anything to do with Mega XLR. Hmm. I, I highly recommend you do one of the best cartoons ever. Personal opinion, of course. Two I'd... seasons, sadly. The Master of Cancellations Cartoon Network got to it, but it is brilliant. And they do have a knack of that. That robot has a knack of just randomly teleporting to other dimensions and stuff. So I can just imagine it just appearing. I see. Just as the wall's about to fall, and suddenly. Giant Remember robot. the two thousand something uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? That was uh, that was weird. It was hmm. all right. It's Ninja Turtles. Just it's just weird. Okay. No, oh, yeah, it was based more. Where on they the crossed book. over their own. Yeah, yeah, based that on, like, more on the comic books than on the um, older Ninja Turtle movies. That the the reboots they added in like did like Bebop and Rocksteady and Krang that were in the comic books, but were never in the movies before. Yeah. Did anybody see that um, crossover from the old um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with the new one? It was so strange. I didn't I even mean, watch the whole thing. 
I mean, that's uh, that's that's because that uh, we have a feeling that all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are one reptilian mastermind. <laughs> Illuminati confirmed. Yeah. Yes, yes. Right. Um, I do love the the monsters of Attack on Titan, the Titans themselves, and they are somewhat obscure to our society of bank of knowledge. Um, I'd love to see a better uh, remake movie, full movie of them. Be um, careful what you wish for, because excellent. suddenly there'll be a Netflix adaptation. Mm, might be a good thing. Let's see how that Witcher pans out. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, guys, they're making here. They they're making um. A Netflix series. Yeah. And now that's a monster I would not like to meet in the dark alley. <laughs> that's cool. Sorry, who would the you, Witcher? you like the to Witcher? meet? Sorry, Isn't I was the gone Witcher for a second. Guy? I mean, we are, we are the Netflix guy? series. Just kidding, guys. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> kind of again, now, okay. Here we don't think monsters are necessarily evil. Hi, Adam Yeah, Goodwin. that's the thing. Monsters should, in general, be some to some degree and extent... And unfriendly to humans under certain circumstances. So, uh, drawing to a close here, one movie I'd like to mention one more time I did last time for some reason was In the Mouth of Madness. It does have some monsters in there. It's a pretty lesser known horror movie that I think is pretty good. So, In the Mouth of Madness, as far as obscure monsters. Um, I think that's it, guys. Anything you want to mention out there anymore? Relevant? I don't have anything. Well, I just wish they'd have um, a lot more. Um, Me too, Capro. You know, good. You know, action movies with monsters in them. That good people monsters. Had to fight. Well, not, well, good monsters, but also um, you know, interesting monsters, monsters that would people that would be interesting in like not necessarily horror movies, but like yeah. action movies where people are like. Or the monsters are like fighting, and it's like mm. you got a lot of like superhero stuff, and you know, or not even to say super, but just like an action movie that, like, say, involves you know, really creatively designed yeah. aliens. Right. I would really like to Keyword see like um, Jumanji going to the D and D side of things. Oh, of oh yes. Ooh. Yeah, Gargamel. Keyword there, creatively designed. Um, because yeah. that's the thing. Creative one, design now means CGI. One movie I really liked as of late. Do without CGI then. What do do without CGI? One movie I really liked thing. as of late. It's a Guillermo movie. Uh, was The Shape of Water, and it's because it's a it's a monster movie, but it's like that's more drama man. based. Rom-com. And I mean, different. at least it was not the Twilight of monster movies. <laughs> oh, no, that, oh hell no! The, the Shape water of was Water was pretty good. It actually won an it won it it, it won the uh, best picture award. Yeah, I'm glad it did. Yeah, the, the Shape did, of Water did. was actually a good love story, unlike Twilight. Yeah, I mean, let's be some honest. Some people Twilight mock it, is but not that hard to beat. Some people mock it, but yeah, I, I rather enjoyed yeah, it. Actually, there, as far as I know, there's only one thing that is a worse love story than Twilight, and that is the. Sadly, very famous fan fiction of Twilight that involves the color gray. That's right, Paladin. Oh, no. Fifty Shades of Grey. Okay. Oh, we're I getting out of here. Yeah, I don't, I don't, we're going I don't, downhill. I don't want to see that. I don't want to have anything. <laughs> Can I ask a question? All right. Fifty Shades of No. Go ahead, Doc Donzo. <laughs> um, did someone explain to me? I know this is a big thing because it makes for a good show, but why do vampires always want to keep their chicks human? I mean... She's gonna because... grow old, she's gonna die, and then what? You're gonna be sad uh, for another 50 years. Then find a new it... one. Exactly. Keep yourself open whilst feigning uh, loyalty. Uh, I'll just well, might also to be die. because in some. Well, it might also be because, you know, often, you know, in vampire movies, being a vampire is not, you know, that nice. Because, you know, you gotta drink blood and stuff, yep. you can't go out during the day, usually. Hence, and there's like some horrible, you know, aspect comes along with being a vampire. Hence, maybe they want to suffer through that. But then it's saying, okay, you're saying you'd rather them die. So it is kind of yeah. Hence, replying kinda, to that it's lopsided, but and I understand why. But it's so almost cliche. It's like, okay, you don't want to suffer through two inconveniences. You can just go yeah. drink from a blood bag. You don't actually have to. Go kill someone just drink from a blood well, bag. Well, that's why I always speed. recommend the movie Interview in with a Vampire cuz they hit oh, upon yeah, those points. 
and it is one of the best vampire movies out there in my opinion i felt sorry for low gold that dies in the sunlight all right guys we're going off topic and i'm sure people i mean we can continue this i just want to uh draw the stream to an end so we have some point of organization well, here. goodbye guys I'm sorry going now have you a good time. mentioned that uh, being a surviving as a vampire in modern day, especially you know in a big, uh, bustling city, it's pretty easy. You have internet. You don't need to go outside. You get hungry. Go help your local community by reducing the hobo population. <laughs> Sorry, but that is okay, that's, that's that's dark. dark. That is that is no that that, that is not. Well, even better, just that go after dark. the bad that politicians. That is true, but dark. Go that after bad politicians God, and bankers. Before. I get into an argument because I, I, I feel like you know beating up you guys because that's that is just that yeah. is evil. Or you can just mate. become. Oh, there's a lot of good food out there. Offer's favorite, turn into a bat, go into a prison, drink the blood, and then leave. You gotta go. Bye, guys. See you, Gargano. Uh, bye. All right, everybody. This is our. This was our first YouTube re stream. That monster cast voices. You've heard it. These are the voices of the monster hood here you guys are welcome to join here on discord in the chat or wherever we're streaming in the chat we'll always be keeping an eye on your words out there um keep in mind our halloween contest is in session art contest it will be there's a video detailing that and the prize we'll be finishing that up on the 31st so you've got a lot of time the theme is female venom predator um and that's it for me you guys have any last uh Stream words. <laughs> we need a movie uh, about Necrons. <laughs> yeah, okay. Regarding the content, so uh, female Venom Predator. Mm -hmm. If any of you fine artists out there decide to make some more off-brand works, please do leave links for research purposes. Research purposes. I must say, a lot of the stuff I saw on Facebook was a little on the board. Research talk. Right purposes okay go have your research purposes. research donde do you have any <laughs> final words mr donde moment of silence for donde and he's typing so no research purposes. we can't do our moment of you silence this Dinkle. episode stop it I'm good. Keep monstering. All right. Awesome, guys. So next week's uh, topic will be here. Same time, 2 p.m. Mountain Time. Uh, next week's topic is going to be uh, Halloween monsters, but particularly for us here, the voices and the people uh, participating, Halloweens that really symbolize or, or mean Halloween to you, that represent Halloween to you, that you always kind of, uh, yeah, think of Halloween when you see them or think of them. So that'll be next week's topic. It's going to be a nice Halloweenish one. Everybody have a great week uh i think we can purposes. hang around here Sorry. for another few minutes and no chat a little bit so no, if you I'm, will I'm, I'm gonna be fine everybody go ahead and say Research goodbye purposes. i'm gonna start playing the outro music for a few minutes Have a good night. so go ahead say goodbye and thank you everybody for participating and watching so where's the music there it is How's the volume? All right. So I'll uh, stop the stream in a couple minutes here. And as usual, you guys are always welcome to uh, hang out here as long as you want. Longer than um, Arthur. Yeah. What's up? Um, the subject for next next um, time. I don't really understand, to be honest. Like. Can you please broaden out? So, really pretty Sorry. much, uh, I guess we can simplify it to your favorite, your personal favorite Halloween monster. Oh, uh, okay. What you would dress up as, like, when you see that monster's face, like, it makes you think of Halloween. So maybe the movie Halloween, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so along those lines. What speaks Halloween to you? I uh, now I understand. Thank you, Arthur. So I think for everybody it would be jack o' lanterns, little pumpkins with mouths cut out in in them, right? Within. <laughs> so 
Yeah, let's see how our chat's doing. Adam I Goodwin say, says Venom. Our... Gonna see Venom in a couple hours here. Yeah. Two, hours. What's that? Yeah, we we love. We don't release. We don't really celebrate um, Halloween because every day is like Halloween. Yeah. Mm. If you stay out too late, you might get robbed. Like you don't <laughs> see right. kids out on the streets even during the day. Same with. It's more business. I mean, that's what holidays have come down to. They're more for business. When I was in Vietnam, for instance, they do not celebrate it one bit. But you will see it at nightclubs and things like that just because it's another way to spice up a night and make more money from people. So it's largely about True. business. Actually, when, when you go to the shop, you don't even see it here. All I see is um, advertisements with little bad hats mm -hmm. and the um, glue. Might it's great for Hollywood, too. too. Designed to it. And it's great for our channel, too. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> Halloween. All right. I'm going to stop the stream now. Officially.